All right, so we're going to turn a photo into a comic drawing. It's actually pretty easy. Now, I usually do the line work in uh, Illustrator, and this is going to be this is the photo we're going to be working with. I'm going to be working with. This is the uh, end result. It's a it actually can be done quite quickly, and it's not too difficult. So let's go ahead and get started then. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, draw in the black lines on a new layer. So I'm going to click this button here, make a new layer. I'm going to use a hard hard brush and uh, only Shape Dynamics is on. Actually, turn noise off. Like I said, it's easier to do this with... Uh, what I'm going to do here also make a copy of this layer. If I can delete the background, make a new layer, put it behind fill it with white. Turn the opacity down on the photo if I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Pick uh, black here. So Illustrator is easier to get the line work done, but I'm just going to use Photoshop because uh, I don't feel like switching back and forth between the programs. The only thing with uh, using Photoshop for line work is it doesn't come out as smooth. Even if you're really deliberate with your strokes, um, you're just never going to get the quality that you'll get when you use Illustrator. Actually, I don't know if I want that line there. It really, when you're uh, uh, the main thing you have to think about when you're turning a photo into artwork into and specific into comic artwork is the lines you want to choose you really want to you know choose the right lines that's the most important thing you choose the wrong lines and it just you know it just doesn't quite look right and that's how you get you know individual pieces of art I'm just going to show you know a few of the lines that I'm going to choose and then I'm going to pause and draw the rest of the lines and then uh, come back. So I'll, I'll show the eye really quick. I'm using a uh, Wacom Intuos tablet. Intuos or Cintiq is really the best. But uh, if you can't afford one of those, then a bamboo is a good price, good tablet. I'm actually going to draw the top of the eye dark too. And I'm going to add this kind of lash here. It's kind of comic-y look like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other lines, you know, like uh, her face and so forth. And then I'll unpause. Okay, I just want to show you what I did so far. So, um... There's certain parts, you know, I want to pick up shadow, like under the nose, just to add some three-dimensionality to it, and under the lip a little bit there. And I'm thinking maybe I added a uh, wrong brush. Maybe I added too much to the lip. Hmm. Maybe I won't even do it. Anyway, so... And when I do the hair, I'm going to choose certain chunks that I'm going to have really dark colors. And I'm only going to leave the highlights, and that's, I'm going to make that blue because uh, she's going to be a dark instead of blonde. You know, and like This is like the old comic book style, like 40s, whatever. Uh, what's his name? Lynchenstein, whatever. It's, it's popular. A lot of people like it. So, Okay, so I'm going to make my brush bigger. Actually, that's the eraser. Make my brush bigger here. And so what I'll do is I'll add big chunks of where I want the uh, blacks to be like so and a lot of this will, will all be black and then I'm gonna leave some parts for for highlight so that way you'll know what I'm doing when I unpause you'll see where where I was at I won't need to draw a lot of that 
uh, line there because of the hair. I'm just kind of, you know, loosely following. Oh, that will be dark. Okay. So you can get kind of an idea. Alright, so now I got my blacks all filled in. I'm going to make a copy of my blacks layer. I'm going to go to the layer underneath that. I'm going to use my paint fill tool here and just get some quick skin tone, something like this. I'm going to fill in uh, the skin. Then I'm going to get like a dark blue color. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then really quick for those parts that didn't, um, I couldn't get with the, I'll do it real quick like that and then it's done. Oops, that's not, that's background. Okay. Then I'm going to just quickly uh, fill in the lips with the uh, lipstick that I want. Let's say uh, we'll make it red lipstick. And I'll just go ahead and fill that in really quick. And I'm going to get white and I'm going to fill in the eyes really quick. Now I'm going to get like a light blue and fill in her eyes. Now really all we need to do now to make it uh, Lichtenstein style is add a layer on top of every layer, uh, get white. And really all we need to do is add in the, uh, you know, the white highlights where you'd want them. And maybe even, you know, you can add a little bit to the hair somewhere. And that would be it. It'd be done. But I'm going to show you something real quick um, what we're going to do. We're going to take it a step further. We're going to take that colored layer and make a copy of it by dragging it down here. And I'm going to set it to multiply. And I'm going to go to, uh, let's see here, edit, layer, layer, layer mask, and hide all. Now what this will allow me to do, I'm going to make this brush big, is as I paint with the opposite color of the mask, white, because the mask is black, I can add in shadows where I'd want them. And we'll just do a really quick version here. Maybe add And so you can add the shadow, um, just, you know, kind of imagine where you think the shadow would be. You don't have, it doesn't have to be like the photo, it can be completely different. Okay. Okay, then the final, final touches, we'll make a copy of this layer, the original color layer, and drag it on top of the shadow layer. And I'm going to set this to uh, screen, or overlay or something like that and we'll go to layer mask hide all use a big soft brush and then I could um, paint with opposite colors the mask and you see there it'll add a little bit of highlights you need to s add them where you think they should be and let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller now Zoom in on the lips. Just add a little bit, not much. Okay, and then you can call it done. So that was a real quick version. Okay, and because I have a little bit of time left, I can come in here and then add a little bit of that and then add the dark part. And I'll just go ahead and leave it like that. Okay. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. hope you learned something. Again, I would do the line work uh, with Illustrator, uh, but for this demonstration, this worked fine. This is brought to you by becomearttoday.com, and it'll be up soon, the website that is. And at becomearttoday.com, you can get your photos turned into all different types of art. So look forward to that. Okay. Go ahead and rate the video if you liked it, and leave a comment.
Thanks. Bye.